Hello everybody, AJ Ryzik here, and today we're taking a look at Shotwell. Specifically, I'm running Shotwell 23.1, which is the latest update to Shotwell. And if you're not familiar with Shotwell, it is a photo editing slash uh, management program. And personally, I think you should put more emphasis on the management side of things. While there is a photo editor included in the application, it is very basic, doesn't have uh, you know, a lot of the features and, and customizations and uh, um, you know, real fine detailed tuning that you can do with some of the more advanced photo editors out there like Darktable, uh, Digicam. However, Shotwell, uh, and I use Shotwell myself because of its photo management uh, properties and as well it is very easy to use it's very intuitive um, and I think that's why a lot of distributions include it as their default photo editor um, now having said that I got kind of nervous last year when Yorba which is the developer of, um, of not only Shotwell but also Geary Mail uh, Yorba went bye-bye so I was like okay you know what's gonna happen to my favorite photo management application am I gonna have to go somewhere else for for photo management luckily development has been picked up it is now uh, you know once again it's 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 uh, being developed and in fact the 23.1 update came out after the uh, the change to uh, to the new development team so uh, uh, that is freaking awesome as far as I'm concerned they, they they fixed a couple of bugs that were irritating issues in the previous previous release so uh, that's all good so what you see here is I guess you could call it the default view that you get when uh, you first fire up shot well uh, you get it automatically goes to this uh, this photos view which kind of gives you an overview of just everything in your photo library and you can scroll take a look at different things that way and if you want to enlarge or shrink down the size of the photos that are in the uh, the overview you can do that I personally keep it down fairly small and then I'll zoom in on on you know the stuff that I really want to look at so You've got this kind of overview kind of thing nice and easy to use and then you also have where it says events and what it's doing is categorizing things uh, by date you can change how things are imported but personally I like keeping it that way I like the uh, importing things by the date you can also come up here and tag individual photos so maybe uh, you know I don't know you tag your Christmas photos with Christmas or you know however you want to do it but then you can go through and you can search via those tags um, and you know Shotwell does a real good job of finding things that that you've tagged and uh, um, also doing various sorting uh, sorting type things but anyway you want to come down if you want to come down and like say under this event you could go and take a look at uh, the March folder and there's various subfolders you know based on the particular date of when the picture was taken um, and then if you go and click on one like say right this one right here uh, these are pictures of the New Richmond flood that I took so you know then you get the overview of all of those different pictures and once again you can enlarge shrink them down that kind of thing uh, and then if you want to look at a specific picture you can double click on it so you get your picture open and from here you can go you can do use this automatic enhance it's got uh, some color tone tint temperature exposure that kind of adjustments that you can make red eye reduction straighten crop rotate the photo and that's about it as far as editing goes so it's a real basic photo editor so if you're looking for more than just a few simple touch-ups on on snapshots Shotwell is not going to be your ticket as far as the editing is concerned. Um, now, me personally, what I do is I use Shotwell because the uh, the photo management is really nice, and I really like the interface on here. It's nice and easy to use, so I use Shotwell for that. If I've got some, I guess you can call it more advanced 
photo editing that I want to do uh, in that case I use Darktable which I also have installed on my system um, but I think shot well I like the in, I like the interface better and I like the photo management better than I do in Darktable um, you know just my personal preference but anyway uh, so after you've made your little enhancements or whatever you can go and tag your photos if you like and um, you can kind of scroll through various pictures right here with previous photo, next photo, all that kind of stuff. And uh, if you come on, oh, well, and then also under edit, you can go and, uh, you know, get rid of changes you made and uh, remake changes that you got rid of, all that kind of stuff that you normally see in, in editing. Something that a lot of your, uh, of the, more advanced um, photographers are going to ask about is the edits that you make. The edits that you make are not made to the actual images themselves. If you want to go and save changes that you just made, you know, in these edits right here, you need to come into File and Export, and then it you can go and create an exported photo of you know with all the edits that you just did also while you're in the file menu you can do this publish option and then from here you've got automatic integration for Facebook Flickr Picasso web albums and I don't even know what that one is Piwigo I, I don't know it's not one that I'm really familiar with but anyway you can it, you can go and you know first you need to log on with Facebook or whatever um, but you can automatically go and uh, and upload your photos that way and you know I do that with Facebook um, I haven't used any of those other services but uh, I use it for Facebook and, and uh, since the update to 23.1 that is working well there was an issue in the previous version where uh, there were login issues, but uh, with the latest update, that's all been fixed. Importing has been working great for me. I've got my Panasonic G6 attached to the uh, computer, or that's what I'm doing right now, actually. And let me go and turn that on. And once you do that, you know, you'll see automatically it clicked on, uh, it flipped over to cameras and showing the storage for the cameras. Shows you all the stuff that you've got on there. And it's got a real nice, uh, you know, I like this right here where it's it'll hide the photos you've already imported, which I don't think I've imported anything from, from all, yeah, I haven't done that yet. So anyway, you can do an import all or maybe there's just certain things that you want to import so you can go and select a few things and you can do import selected I need to go and import all this so I'm just going to click on import all because uh, this is all from my last little trip and it'll go and import all that for you and you know automatically it will under events it'll create a 2016 you can see right there it's created a June folder for me and uh, you just got to sit back and wait for it to import and I got a lot of pictures on on that uh, SD card so it's probably going to take a while so probably I'll just um, pause the video while while those imports are going on and then uh, we'll move on from there okay so all the photos are imported and as you see, you get this little message, 179 photo videos successfully imported. Ask if you want to delete those from the camera. You can, or you can keep whatever you want to do. And, uh, you know, it takes care of that. And then, boom, you get this last import view so you can look at everything that was just imported. So, real nice feature. So, there you can see under the June, uh, the June folder, you know, all the stuff that came off of that uh, SD card. Uh, you know, categorized by the dates when they were taken. Pretty cool. Well, that just about finishes this review up. I know it wasn't real long, but Shotwell is fairly intuitive. It's easy to use, so there's not a whole lot of explaining that you really need to do. 
um, you know most things just kind of work right out of the box um, you know I plug my camera in turn it on and boom right away I can go and, and import and download uh, you know uh, there's not a whole lot of things that need to be explained and taught and that sort of thing. Um, personally, really like the application. To me, the only downside is the um, uh, uh, the uh, editor. But on the flip side, you know, it was never designed to be an advanced editor. It is designed to be a very basic. Uh, editor along with a very good photo organizer and the organization side of things that's where where Shotwell really shines uh, as well as having the you know easy to use interface and uh, it is it's fairly quick I know I had to pause the video while I was downloading all those photos but 179 photos that's going to take a while and compared to other photo importers and editors it, it was fairly quick um, what else? Oh, for those of you that are on a Ubuntu-based system and want to use the latest version of Shotwell, I will include PPA address down below in the description. And if you go and add that PPA to your system, you'll be able to update to the latest version of Shotwell. And I think that finishes the review up. So for those of you that are not subscribers, please subscribe. Love to have you on the team. And uh, as always, I hope to see you all on the next video. Thanks a lot.